You know, when it comes to contrasting up kettlebells or dumbbells with, with band resistance, one of the best ways to do it is using a horizontal vector. Yeah, just attach the band onto a stable structure or the bar, and then bring in your kettlebell. Any movements that require you to go ahead and hip hinge, like an overhead press, a swing, a front squat, a high pull, any of those movements can be combined up using a horizontal vector band resistance and a vertical weight kettlebell resistance or dumbbell resistance. Great way to go ahead and contrast up. That's one way to go ahead and do it. Another way to go ahead and contrast up band resistance with free weight is going ahead and attaching the band onto you using a what we call the crossover setup. The crossover setup, again, can be a half crossover, it can be a double crossover. I'm gonna show you the half crossover. Again, in this scenario now, we have two vertical vectors. The band is going to provide a vertical vector, the kettlebell is gonna provide a vertical vector. So if we go ahead and take a movement like reverse lunges, all right, what we're gonna end up doing is challenging our body through the full range of motion because an ascending resistance is gonna make it more challenging at the top. The free weight resistance is gonna load us at the bottom. It's a great way to go ahead and contrast up free weights with bands. So there's two ways to go ahead and bring in band resistance with a free weight resistance like a kettlebell to go ahead and get that great contrast effect.